What's up YouTube? I've been excited to jump in here and have a chat and bring some rawness to the table. I'm actually filming this video and I have no idea what I'm about to say. But my intention was to come on here and be raw and be real and see whatever comes out. So whatever comes out next is going to be from the heart and from the soul and raw and real and me. So, what we're going to talk about, what I'm going to talk about, briefly, because I know people's attention spans and I know people are busy. But I want to talk about how the fear of criticism is one of the main things that prevents people from really going after what they actually want in their life and for, from actually being who they know they can be. It's insane how much it literally controls us, literally controls our life. Like people might think, oh, I'm pretty happy, I've got a pretty positive mindset, pretty good outlook. But we don't realize that really it's fear is so sneaky. Right? Fear is so sneaky. It will, it will kind of convince you that you don't need to do something or convince you that you don't need to go and talk to that person or you don't need to go near those people or you need to stay away from that social situation. I used to get social anxiety so bad. It was like my biggest fear, my biggest fear was to be humiliated in, in amongst a group of people. Like to be in a group of people and be sitting there all quiet and then someone say something about me or point out some sort of insecurity and my face would go red and I'd be bar embarrassed and I would just wanna fucking cry. And I would be scared that I would actually cry in front of people. <laughs> mm, mm. So it's not something to take lightly. It's not something to take lightly and something to think, oh, you know, it'll go away. Because that's what I thought for a long time. And it doesn't just go away. It gets worse. It gets worse. Unless, unless you actually start to take the time to study yourself and discover yourself and look for information or books or mentors or teachers, or people on the internet, YouTube. That's where a lot of information is. And start to get an understanding of what's actually happening and start to learn some techniques and tools to start overcoming that. Because really, freedom, in my eyes, is being free of your own fear. People think that if I, you know, if I just won a million dollars in a lotto, I'd be happy, I'd be confident, I'd be free, and I'd be you know, calm and content. But that's not the case. You're always going to have problems in life. And money isn't going to fix problems. Money's great and you can do a lot of things and I want money. But that alone isn't going to make you fully, deeply happy and satisfied. We need to understand how to control ourselves and our own mind and our own emotions. And find contentness first. Then all of the good, beautiful things come in abundance. And it keeps coming because you've changed the root cause. So I'm going to give you now, I'm going to give you one of my... Maybe a few techniques that I use when it comes to social anxiety and learning to be calm in social situations so that you can actually like even just have a fucking conversation with people. Because sometimes that's even tough. That was for me. All I wanted to do when I got on this journey was to just be comfortable in having a conversation. So a technique when I, I used when going to social situations, the reason we get anxiety is because we're focused on ourself. We're thinking... What are they thinking about me? What am I going to say? What am I going to say if they ask this? It's me, 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 me. And the more attention is on you, the more attention is in your head, the more your head is just blocked from being able to think clearly, right? So what you do is when you're, when you're going to go into a social environment is first you visualize yourself in the environment, right? Our body, our nervous system doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. So we can practice being calm in a situation by experiencing it in our imagination. 
So go take the time to sit down, really relax, and visualize yourself surrounded by people. What you'll find is that your, your nervous system will become heightened because your body thinks that you're there because it doesn't know the difference. So in your imagination, in your visualization, practice being calm. Practice being calm. And then what you'll find over time through doing this, the next time you go into a social environment, your body will be calm because you've been there before. That's a really, really good technique. And if you practice it over time, you're going to find that you're going to be able to naturally walk into social situations really easily. Another thing is simply just connect with your breath. Connect with your breath. Anytime you get in your head, come back to your breath. Third one is when you're in a social environment, instead of thinking, what are these people thinking of me? Pick out the individual people and in your mind, think to yourself, what do I love about each of these people? What do I respect about them? What have they been through? Maybe what are they nervous about? Because most people are just focused on themselves. And when you get your attention out of you and into them, you'll find the tension is relieved and you feel more connected to people. It's a really, really cool technique. So I'm gonna leave it at that, it's six and a half minutes now. And I don't want this video to go too long, so I hope that's helped. And I'm gonna keep these videos coming. Comment below if you enjoyed it and we'll keep hanging out. All right, bye for now.